All right, guys, welcome to episode 114 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. But listen, man, go ahead, light your J, light your blunt, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, get your dad bridge ready, get your edibles going, whatever the fuck it is that you do, man. Let's get it, man. Let's you know how to fuck we it. rock. How we feeling today, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Chilling, man. You know what I mean? Like, I had a pretty good fucking weekend, bro. We were we were vibing, smoking. I was passing out, up. smoking fucking blunts here. Now I was passing out cards, you know, because we got the new dope talk cards and shit. So I've been passing them out and Facts. going out to the public and letting people know about us, man. You yeah, man, we got to do that. That's something that we we started doing this weekend, bro. I, honestly, we should have been doing it, but you know, we got to it. We got to it, and got uh, to it. Yeah. you know what I mean. And and we started handing out cards, bro. These cards, you know, what I'm saying if you're around the city and you've seen us. You know, they're cards that you just scan and it takes you, it links you straight to the fucking, uh, you know, Instagram and all that other shit. But yeah. we got to do it, bro. We got to do that face to face, you know, networking and shit like yeah. that. Some people just, they don't connect that way. They don't connect mm-hmm. through the social media. They need that that personal touch. So that's me. Yeah. I'm not a social media nigga. Yeah. I'd rather come up to you and talk to you in person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. like for real. And I respect that. I don't know. Like I'm the type of person that respects that type of shit when somebody like just like, hey, like he came up to me, he presented himself, you know, his own company and he handed me his car. That was pretty professional. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's harder to do than just sending a message. You know, so you you could send the same message to 150 people and not ever meet any of them. But it's like, if you're out there really talking to people, like, you know what helped me out with that? And I'm sure that Corona helped you out with that talking to people, bro. Security. I had to talk to different people from different walks of life every day, nigga, from the chief of police all the way down to the fucking janitor. Like, I had to talk to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, it teaches you certain things, bro. And it's, it, but... I respect the the other, you know, the social media aspect because that's a that's an art. Like, not everybody knows how to how to talk on social media, how to post certain things and make shit. You know what I'm saying? Interesting enough for people to fucking click on. So that shit, I salute to you on that, bro. Because this motherfucker right here, round of applause to Johnny, bro, man. man. This nigga's been running every fucking social media platform for us since the beginning, bro. On everything, bro. Twitter, fucking Snapchat. For what what else are we on, bro? We're on fucking everything. We're on bro. TikTok. We're TikTok, you know, man. Like, the only thing that we really need to get on more was more uh we're gonna get on uh, Apple Music. We're gonna get on uh Spotify. Spotify. I know I've been saying yeah. that for a while, you know, but we're just trying to stay guys listen, we're yeah. working, bro. Yeah. We're working. Low key trust, man. We got we got shit coming. We got new new things for the for the YouTube page. We're getting a new logo. We're working low key on a few different things. So just be patient with us. Come along for the ride, man. And we gonna fucking get it. We got a new logo on the way. You know what I mean? We got we're trying to we're trying to get things done. Yeah, um, we did, getting them done. Don't forget to light up, by the way. Too. Yeah, nah, facts. I already said that. I oh, you said, did? Yeah, oh, okay. Like, well, my, my dog's bad. so high. He's like two I, minutes late. I always do that shit. <laughs> I'm, but listen, man. Yeah, bro, my bad. Look, I don't understand what the fuck this whole big rant this last week was about. About like fucking celebrities not showering, bro. You heard about that shit? Everybody. Oh, bro, like Post Malone. I heard about that. Bro, there was so. No, no, no. There was like celebrities coming out straight up saying, like, no, I don't shower daily. Like, I only shower when I feel nasty and shit. It's like, what? No. Nah, like, what? I don't know. Maybe it's something about the chemicals in the soap, but then use some organic ass soap. Bro. I don't know. I, if you don't shower daily, bro, you're a nasty mouth. Yeah, you are. To me. Yes. I, to me. Yeah, that's you, how I was I raised. have to shower at least twice a day. Yeah. At least. I, at least once. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's once. times yeah. where, bro, yeah. you might be busy. You might have a 16-hour day where you're running around working. Bro, when yeah. you get home, take a shower, though. Yeah, take a don't shower. Don't go to sleep without fucking taking that shower, nigga. That's yeah. nasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, don't, I, I didn't understand that shit, bro. It was like big people like fucking Ashton Kutcher and his wife. So I don't want to know what's going on in y'all house, bro. If y'all niggas is coming out publicly talking about y'all don't take showers every day. Yeah, I don't like, want to know what's going I on. I wonder what probably, your kids are fucking you, doing. You probably got cheese in your crack. Oh, man. You probably got... Oh, fucking You a. probably got ass in your cheese. I don't fucking oh, know, bro. I don't, you got I don't. ass in your cheese for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? So have you ever had some fucking stinky cheese, bro? You ever had some nasty fucking stinky cheese, bro? Like y'all some blue fucking cheese? got some fucking goat cheese under your goddamn Gucci feta. shit. Feta, you ever heard of feta? Holy fuck! Yeah, I love feta cheese. Sour on my cream salad. and shit. That's feta. fucking nasty. It's goat milk. Yeah, all that shit's gross. Yeah, I know. I love it. <laughs> it's just something about it. I don't even know. It could be sperm. So it could yeah. be fucking. It could be. It could be anything in that bitch. But I don't fucking. My dog's know. gonna take it. You don't give a fuck. Nah, that feta's fucking on point with the salad. Nah, bro. I love cheese, bro. Like. 
I love cheese. I, like, for real. Ever since I was a kid, like, you know when you go to parties and they have the little layout and they have the fucking jamon and the queso and shit? Man, mm-hmm. I'm going for that cheese, boy. Yeah, that cheese, That bro. cheese is fucking... I love cheese. Did you, ever, you, did you ever get the little snack... The little snack uh, packs, whatever. My mom couldn't afford them at the time, but like all the cool kids had them when you're in elementary school. All the cool kids. <laughs> the, little, the little fucking snack yeah, packs. Yeah, if it's something extra that wasn't free lunch, I wasn't having it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> My I had mom free didn't lunch. have that shit like that. I had free lunch. Yeah, bro. Like, it, I mean, bro, uh, we had single mothers. <laughs> like, yeah, that you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's bro, true. It's different. It's different. But I don't know, bro. That shit just, was just baffling to me, man. Like, people really. Coming out publicly talking about they don't take showers, and then other people being cool with it, like, like, oh yeah, me too. I don't like, I don't see what's wrong with it. It's yeah, like, like you right. ever, yeah, like there's just, there's, <laughs> I can't even talk because it's just so baffling. It, it's so fucking horrible and it's so nasty. You ever walk past somebody you just gotta hold their fucking, oh no, no, no hold okay. your breath because you know they're coming and they they about to stink. I'm walking away. Yeah. See, like there's certain situations, man. Like it's acceptable because. They're really in a situation where they have no choice, right? Like I yeah. grew up with with these two guys, bro. We used to do like this like summer program with them with kids from da- Daytona, and like there was two two brothers, bro, that they smelled like they had body odor, and like you could tell they wouldn't take showers for days, but it wasn't by choice. They were just they were literally that poor. Like they just they would wear the same clothes two three days at a time, and they couldn't take showers. So in that situation, that's different. You don't make fun of that. But it's like, nigga, y'all are multi-millionaires. Talking about you don't fucking take a shower because if I don't feel icky, I don't fucking take showers. It's like, what? Yeah, it's like. Hey, bitch, you, you get icky every day just by walking outside and collecting germs on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, go home and wash that shit off you, bro. Like, Yeah, like I noticed like when you go to the gym, bro, it's only been an hour and I'm sweating. And I come home, I take a shower and I put Fact. that soap on and I bro. put that hot water on. Bro. And I- and I see that dirt. Bro, that you dirt, see it, you yeah. See, you, you see, see your it. dead skin cell, like yeah, your yeah, dead yeah, skin yeah. falling off. Like you, it's different, but bro. You see, like, like it's dirt. Like it's dirt. Like you see the water, like not clear. Like that's yeah. that's shit coming off your skin. Like that's bro, just from just, an hour of working out. Bro, listen, man. I don't, I don't understand it, but I guess it's not for us to understand, guys. Y'all go down in the comments and y'all let us know if you shower daily, if you don't, and the reasons why or why not. All right. Yeah. But listen, seriously, man. Seriously, because yeah, that's that's crazy. It's crazy. I don't but know what to say. Lately, man, we've been talking a lot about like building a fucking team, right? And we're in the midst of that. We were talking about it this morning within the next six months and shit. And like we always bring up how we need to follow the formula. Like there's formulas to certain things and we need to fucking like study it and follow it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's important for everyday life, bro. Like overall, bro, like you, whatever it is that you're getting into, you should look at the blueprint of other people that have done it. You know what I'm saying? And like, take that formula and apply it to your fucking situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's no successful person out there that didn't have a mentor that wasn't successful before them. Yeah. Like, and, for and, real. and they leave and success leaves clues. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, it's man, like if this guy's doing it this way, don't copy him to the point where it's like, I'm going to copy this guy, but I'm going to study his moves and how, how the fuck he does shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like, okay, now I get why he does this. I see why he does. He posts three, four times a day. Okay. I see why he, he's always writing back because it's about people, bro. It's not about you. It's about them. You gotta, you gotta be in touch and it's a formula. Yeah. Facts. Yep. You gotta have the formula, bro. And you gotta just, you gotta run along with it, bro. But ultimately, man, like when it comes to business, man, like we were talking about it earlier this morning, like, outsourcing is something that's super duper important bro you know what i'm saying like yeah super important like like all these guys that i'd be studying like mark cuban bro the owner of the fucking mavericks he's a billionaire he talks about that shit all the time he's like bro you you have to outsource you can't spend all day doing your own busy work you see what i'm saying like you got to build that team so that you can focus on other things and then your job would be to make sure the team is running correctly so that could stay running you know but it's like i'm telling you man like this shit this shit is harder than what people think though guys i'm telling you bro like doing this shit fucking you know what i'm saying like just stay consistency is really the fucking hardest part about it because shit happens bro and there's <laughs> days where you might not want to do it or you might not have time but you have to make time you have to do it you know what i'm saying like yeah and that's part of the fucking formula too. Like it's just it, there's a lot that goes feel, through it, bro. I feel like also like 
doing the right thing. Facts. You know what Integrity. I mean? Like, like, yeah, like doing the right thing always because it's like, you ever done something wrong in your past and you're just like, man, like I should have done that. Or you know like, when you do wrong. Yeah, you just, you feel it. And it's like, it won't get out of your head. It's, you know, it's like, fuck, man. You know, and it's a bad feeling. Yeah, bro. That's people, why I, people don't like that feeling, you know? And it's like, I, I'm pretty sure everybody in this world has had that feeling. Of course, bro. Ain't nobody perfect. People have done wrong. I've done wrong, bro. And that's why you change, bro. Yeah. That's why you learn from shit. And you're like, bro, I'm not doing that again. I'm never yeah. doing that again. Like, because it's like, so, like you do certain things. Sometimes it's just out of spite. Sometimes it's just out of, some people do it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? I've never been that type of person. There's things that I did out of necessity. You see what I'm saying? Like, doesn't mean that you feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, there's a there's a lyric uh, in a the baby song where he says that he's like you know I did all of that he said I did a lot of shit with good intentions I'm still asking God to forgive me and that's yeah. facts because it's like bro like this is a lot of shit that people do they really don't want to but they do it yeah. and then they fucking later they're like damn bro that was fuck nigga shit like I shouldn't have done that you yeah know what I'm yeah like, if you have a conscience if you're just a psychopath that don't give a fuck about nobody else it's like it's like, you don't damn. give a fuck but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like damn, if you brother. have a conscience you got a good heart bro you're like damn bro that's fucked up like I shouldn't yeah. have done that shit yeah for sure and it's just like damn bro like a lot of people don't again we're gonna go back to this common sense shit. Common sense, man. You know, and common sense is like the most uncommon thing on earth. And it's just, I don't know, man. Like, it's just certain things, bro. Certain things that people do, and it's just like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, facts. what is going through your mind at that that point in time? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's facts. Like, like, guys, listen. Just an example, right? If you go out with a group of friends, right, and you're all drinking, make sure that everybody gets in touch with each other before y'all leave, bro. Yeah. Like, like if y'all go out as a group and y'all together as a group, like before anybody leaves, make sure people are good. Yeah. Be like, like, yo, where are you going? Y'all sliding? What are we doing? Like that's a conversation. That's a normal conversation to have as a group. Yeah. Is like, oh, what are we doing? Y'all sliding over you, here? You, you want you good? You, you good, good to drive? Yeah. Like, like and that's right? really what it comes down to. It's like, bro, like, like if to me, bro, if you leave somebody like that and it's like you don't even fucking check up on them, like it's like, bro, like you don't you don't have no respect for them and you really you really don't give a fuck about that person. Yeah, it's kinda, it's never it, it been doesn't a time. matter if you call me later. It matters at that point in time, like, yo, bro, we came together, let's fucking let's leave together. You know what I mean? And, or like let's hey bro, let's just communicate. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all about communication. Like, yo, you good? All right, bet, bet. Yo, you, you sure? You good? All right, bet. Cool. All right, let's have a good night. You know what I mean? Like Facts, yeah. Like, if you got to go somewhere, then do you? Like, it's literally the smaller things in life that matter the most. Yeah, bro. It's just respect. Yeah. Like, I've said it a thousand times, man. It's, it's literally just comes down to respect because I'm telling you, bro, like, if you respect the person, you're not going to disrespect them. Yeah. And that's just respect. It's like... Yeah. You know, again, man, I've had people do worse worse things yeah no nah, you know and it's like facts and it's like you know what like i'm not even gonna be like that mad about it i'm gonna just like whatever and that's worse situation so like just for somebody doing something so small and people don't realize it you know what i mean it, it's crazy to me like yeah that's, compared that's, to the big like I, I don't that's know. just being human bro a lot of yeah. us don't see our own faults like we get mad when somebody does something to us but then it's like when we do something to somebody else, we don't even see it. Like we, that. And we don't even see it like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's it's why like, communication is important. Yeah, That's why you got to sit down and talk. Ha- facts. Facts. Yeah. And we talk about that all the time, bro. Like, like if something's bothering you, just talk about it, bro. Just tell the person, like, bro, I didn't appreciate that. I don't like that, bro. And just keep it moving. Like, it doesn't have to be an all out war. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I was telling you earlier, bro, don't ignore the red flags, man. After two or three, it doesn't have to be about the same exact situation, bro. Like, if a person shows you they don't respect you more than once, bro, they probably don't respect you. It's really that it's simple. It's like the showing on time thing, like you were telling me. Yeah, it's really, like sh- yeah. Showing facts. up on time. Like, like if, if, if you tell somebody, if you tell somebody, bro, meet me here at fucking this time, nine o'clock, and you don't show up till 1030, and you don't fucking, like, you don't call, you don't say nothing, like, they have to hit you up, like, yo, bro, you still coming type shit? Like, bro, you don't give a fuck. You don't yeah. give a fuck about that person. Like, you're like, oh, you're a throwaway. Just sit there until I can fucking show up. Yeah. Like, nah, bro, you don't treat people you care about like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, that's what it comes down to. People will show you where you stand in their life. Like, yeah. they'll show you. 
Like not with words. Niggas talk so much. That's why I've got, I've told you so yeah. much lately. I've gotten to the point I don't want to hear nothing. I don't give a fuck. I don't even want to hang out. Show me. If you really give a fuck, if you're my boy, bro, you're gonna you're gonna be there and you're gonna show me through your actions. It's not gonna be through words. Yeah, yeah. and you know that, what I'm that, like, I heard that. I think that was uh there was something from uh Dame. What's his name again? The bald guy. Uh Dame Dash. Dame Dash. Yeah, and he was like, "Yo, bro, like." You literally like just have to shut the fuck up and just listen to these people. You really and, and just look at everything. Like you don't even have to say anything. Just if you want to see how just somebody observe, really feels bro. about you, just shut up. Yeah, observe. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, bro, actions speak louder than words, bro. And that's why, like, I don't anybody that knows me personally, bro, y'all know that I don't add friends to my list. I subtract people. Like over the years, bro, I've been I haven't been adding people. I've been subtracting motherfuckers because it's like. I'm telling you, man, people have different intentions behind the reasons why they do why they do. Like, like I'm telling you, they'll invite you certain places for a, a, another reason, not really because they want you to come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's too much fake shit, bro. You could tell. You could tell. Fact. Like, you could tell the genuine from the, from the, from the non genuine. You know, it's That's just like, you could just call it out. Like, cause it, it's, it's right there in front of you. You know, if you can't see it, then you're blinded, you know? And then sometimes you just give people the benefit of the doubt and it, it doesn't make the person a horrible person. It doesn't, you know? Nah, I mean? That's just who they are. It's, yeah. It's and just, like, yeah. Going back to what we talked about earlier, bro. Like I said, bro, like at that point, like when somebody sh- like shows you that there's no point in going to war, there's no point in getting riled up or none of that, bro. Just move accordingly now. Be like, okay, cool. That's how you move. Now I know how to move with you. Now I know I can't go out with you and th- do this and that and the uh, and the third like or if we do go out then we got to ride separate and do this and that and the third. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just like now I got to move different because you don't you really don't give a fuck about me and you really don't respect me. Yeah. So it's like especially putting somebody in in danger too. Like, you know, putting your friend in danger, bro. Like that's a that's a big deal. Yeah, I've been I've been around a, a lot of situations like that. Bro. Like continuous, like not giving a fuck. Like it's one thing. Like it, if it happens, it happens. Because I'm happens, riding regardless. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? No, like, facts. Things things yeah. happen sometimes, and you get out of control. Yeah, and things get out of your control. But it's like, like if somebody's doing that on purpose, bro. Again, they don't respect you enough to not put you in harm's way. Because. I don't like, bro. There's been people that have come to me in my past when I was doing my stupid shit, and you've known me for a long time, John. You knew what I was up to in high school, dog. Like I was doing stupid shit, and people would hit me up like, "Bro, let me do this. Let me come with you." And I'd be like, "No," because ultimately, bro, I give a fuck about you. I do. I yeah. care about you enough to be like, "Nigga, I don't want you to come do this because this might happen yep. for real." Yeah, like you might not come home. So it's like people just don't care about other people that way you know what i'm saying like and it's like ultimately bro it's like that song broken love by mo three bro you know what i'm saying it's like people don't give a fuck bro they really don't nigga. Yeah. like you could love somebody to death bro and they still stab you in your back yeah straight and the i fuck met up. man i met some some real dudes bro and there's some people out there bro you gotta balance it out bro because there's some real ass motherfuckers out there that i barely talk to on a daily facts and they be doing some real ass shit and it's like they never facts. switched up from the jump that's a big fact. You That's see what I'm saying? Fact. You got to respect those type of people, man. Like like David from last episode, I was saying, like, David's always been real. He's always been there. Fact. You know what I mean? And it's like, I, bro, we work together. You know what I mean? And there's certain people that you meet throughout the life that you got to you gotta, yeah, you gotta nah, save those people. That, that's another thing, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, everybody that... Everybody that's real ain't gonna be your day ones. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes and your sometimes day ones switch up. Sometimes, sometimes it, is. it is, but sometimes your day ones switch up, yeah. and you might go meet somebody that you've only known for fucking six months, and they're realer than the person you was just fucking with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it, like that whole time thing, bro. I'm past that. Like, when you're younger, you think about it like, oh, well, I've known this nigga for six years. So what, bro? Six years. A lot of people change in six years. Six years does a lot of a lot of different things to people. They might have been 100% at the beginning, and then at the end, they're fucking 40%. Like, people change, bro. People change. It is what it is. But, you know, you either change for the better or you change for the worse. That's my opinion about it. Those are your choices. Everybody changes. Everybody, like, niggas can't act like, oh, I've been the same nigga for 20 years. Well, you might have, but you've probably been in the same place for 20 years. Because that, that makes no sense. You grow every day. But... You either, I'm telling you, bro, you either move in the right direction or you move in the wrong direction. Like, 
That that's, just, that's just my opinion about it. Yeah. But that ass. Listen, sure. man, it's crazy, bro, because we were talking about a situation earlier that brought brought me back to my childhood of going to the fucking movies, man, and going to the dollar store right before. Oh, yeah, because that shit was expensive <laughs> as fuck, yeah. Nigga, go to the dollar store. You spend, you spend $10 on candy, bro. You get a bag of this, a bag of that. A bag of this for yeah. $2.69. You got a whole fucking picnic. Nah, I, don't know. I yeah. got I got my mom's like <laughs> my sister with me, so I'm fucking putting all that shit in their purse. Yeah, <laughs> and we going bro. in this bitch and we watching this I movie, just, cooling, bitch. I just bro, just put it in my pocket too. Fuck yeah, yeah, no, nah. ain't gonna search me. Come yeah, no. Nah. When I got older, I started going out on little little dates and shit, little kid dates and shit. I would used to put it in the girl's purse. Whoever I was with, bro, if you have a purse, you fucking putting it in your purse. And we're going in this movie theater and we're enjoying this motherfucking Almond Joy, this Crunch Bar, and this motherfucking Sour Gummies, all right? We're enjoying all this shit for free. Not well, for real. For crunch, the love. Yo, for the Crunch love. Bars are my shit. I had one for the first time. <laughs> Not for the first time, but I had one for, bro, it's been years. Years, bro. Bro, I don't know about you, but Halloween was crazy to me. It's coming up pretty soon. and Yeah, bro. I told my sister I want to just fucking get high as shit. And just watch like all the old like Halloween movies like Hocus Pocus and fucking Nightmare Before Christmas and shit. Do you re- like, do you remember when like you would just eat that whole fucking bag? Bro, I would eat that I whole bag. I would make bag. myself fucking sick, bitch. <laughs> sometimes I, would, I wouldn't though. It was nah, crazy. Man. Nah, but I would get sick sometimes. I'd fucking be like, nigga. I had it, that, it's that not idea. even a sugar rush. It's a sugar coma. Because <laughs> you fucking put yourself to sleep with that shit. Bro. Nah, like, for real. And I used to eat that shit like. It was bad. I don't know why parents like kids do that shit. Bro. I don't know, but that shit's fucking bad as fuck. My mom used to hide the bag because she'd be like, "You ate all that fucking candy? Holy fuck, you fat piece of shit, bro!" I used to be Yo, a fat piece of shit. I used nah, to fucking bro, I used to fucking eat all that shit at once. Yeah, you know, when you're a kid, bro, you don't give a fuck. Especially when you're a guy. That's another thing. You're a guy and you're growing. Yeah. Oh, you eat the whole fucking house. You eat the whole fucking house for shit, bro. <laughs> I used to eat everything Random shit too bro, And I still I do I don't give a fuck Who's it was Yeah I, I can eat like, blueberries sister, I'll eat potatoes And then I'll eat Some fucking green salad Hey listen I'll, Nah facts <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking Eating whatever bro I didn't give a fuck Give me some fish Give me some ice cream Give me some fucking <laughs> you know, Put the I, scoop of ice cream On the fish stick give me a You know beer, what I'm saying Give me a beer And then give me a coffee <laughs> Alright I don't give a fuck I swear bro My stomach would be done Nah, bro, yeah. It's just bad eating habits, bro. When you're a kid, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. You just I eat, used to drink like I mean, six cups of coffee. Cups of coffee, bro. I used to drink so much soda. I remember, like, bro, it was just stupid. You used bro. to fucking have a cup that was huge, and you used to pour that bitch up the to the top. <laughs> the top, bitch. I used to, hey, look, listen. Yo, he nah, remembers my king yo. mug, nigga. I had a yeah. mug that fucking Arthur the fucking third <laughs> Fucking had in his castle, bitch. I swear to God. Yo. That shit was this fucking big, bro. And I used to fill that shit up all the way to the top and drink like three of them bitches. Nah, for real. Give a fuck. What I the used fuck? To buy, you know what? That it's was crazy. crazy. I used to buy the three liters from the dollar store. I know, the cheap fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even Pepsi. It was like Websy. Hey, it was like fucking it was Sepsi like, or some it, shit, nah, bitch. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was something else. Instead of Sprite, it was right. I was like. <laughs> Like cola stars and <laughs> some stupid shit. I don't know what it was. But cola it was, panda. It was like some other shit. I didn't give a fuck. It was three liters for a dollar. Yeah, and that bitch had like four hundred grams of sugar in that. Four hundred grams of sugar and a whole fucking three liters of diabetes in that and sodium. Bitch fuck. Oh my god, it was bad. I'm glad I stopped that shit. I'm glad I stopped. Like now, you know, we drink Trulies and shit like that. But I don't drink as much beer. I don't drink as much liquor. I don't drink soda. Yeah, or like juice last night, like that. Yeah, like, like last night I had juice for Chaser. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Usually it was soda. Usually I'm drinking it with soda. Oh, and I'm like, man. Back in my Henny days, yeah. nigga, all it was is soda. I got it. Like, yeah, I can't do that. It was Henny with the cola, like fucking oh. Kid Leroy or oh. whatever. The, what the fuck is it? That's his name, Kid Leroy? Yeah, and Dolph. That's yeah. what they used to mix their fucking lean and shit. Like, uh, I, nah, he was talking about Henny with the cola, though. That Henny. kid. What's his oh, name? Oh, Kayla Roy. Yeah. Kayla Roy, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Henny with the cola. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about lean. I don't know niggas that makes I think they lean do, with bro. cola. I think they do. I think it's like Sprite and shit. It's like light colored shit. I don't know, bro. I, I, I think I seen it in Dolph's video, if I'm not mistaken. I'll look it up. I don't I remember. Know. I mean, I, I guess you mix it with whatever like, the like he poured it. it yeah, like I saw him pour it in the, in the two liter. And it was dark, like Coca-Cola? Yeah. I don't know. 
And I was like, damn. Dolph's on, Dolph on some shit. That's <laughs> yeah. like drinking dark liquor with light liquors. <laughs> yo. yo, that's death. All right? That's nah, death. Yo, listen, yo, listen. We got to talk about that, though. Bro, yo, listen. For y'all, for those of y'all that don't know that might be a little younger, don't don't mix dark and light liquor, bro. You're, you're going to fuck yourself your whole night. Your whole night, bro. I know. We did that fucking last night, bro. And I was like, nah. But I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I started out with dark. And I think we had light in the beginning because I had a martini at Chili's. But then, like, I ate something, so I was good. Yeah, no, that's yeah, different. Yeah, like, I but was if you're just straight drinking and you go from like Henny to like Don Q or some shit, <laughs> I've done literally no, that but, transaction, and that is not fucking bad. That's, yeah. like, that's not that's not a good place to be. That, that, that shit was all bad. I'm not all gonna bad. go there. Yeah, yeah, all fucking bad. No, nah, that's horrible, bro. But it it's crazy. If you got to switch alcohol to switch your moods, and you're an alcoholic, I don't care what you say. Yeah, nah, facts. Like, you got to be like, oh, I don't drink light because I do this. Or, like, I don't drink dark because I do It's just like, yo, that's just lame to me. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with it, though. Like, no, I I'm, agree with that I shit. Because like that, that's how it was with me. Like, I stopped drinking dark liquor after a while. Because it was like, it would tend to make me want to fight more. Like, for real. Like, yeah. it just little shit would set me off more. Like, yeah. it made me more, like, irritable. You know, but when I would drink light liquor... Like it was just It was different I it used to be like that And then I got It's just like I don't know Then I stopped drinking liquor altogether Cause it didn't, it didn't really <laughs> matter If you piss me off bro It doesn't matter You piss me the fuck nah, off You fact, piss me the fuck off It could be dark light It could be fucking purple It could be fucking pink it, it, There's, there's it a matter. difference though bro It's like yeah. It's the same thing as, as weed Like Like a sativa fucking A sativa isn't gonna do the same thing As a heavy indica like the heavy indica is gonna get you more more laid back, more lazy. The sativa is gonna wake you up a little bit more, have you more creative. Like it, there's a difference, but it's but they're both weed. It's the same thing. They're both liquor, but one will probably make you act a certain way more than the other one. Like I just uh, like I've literally I've experienced it with my body, not watching anybody else. So it's like I could kind of attest to that shit. But I see your point where it's like, regardless, it's true. Like, I've yeah. been in situations, I didn't give a fuck what I was on, bitch. Yeah. I was going to fucking do something. Yeah. But it was like, like, for the most part, like, I'm talking about just being irritable, bro. Like, just the smallest shit bothering you. You know what I mean? But Yeah. What but listen, man. man I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm going to tell y'all what. What the fuck is up? I'll tell you something, bro. If we ever get there, Jesus, damn, holy Christ! I appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, go down in the description, get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? New logo coming soon. Yeah, we dropping you know I mean? new shit, bro. So that means that new merch is on the way as well. New merch, new logo. You know what I'm saying? New banner for YouTube. We're getting it little by little, man. We gonna get this shit right. We gonna get this shit right, man. And don't forget to tell fucking somebody. That you love them Facts Did I say tell that some, right? Yeah Tell somebody you fucking love them guys For sure For sure But listen man We appreciate you Catch you on the next one Peace, Peace of love Peace of love